picture today? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You're gonna go and uh, pray to the invisible pray man. To your, the invisible man? Yes, there you go, folks. Did you guys enjoy Frank's in the Invisible Man in the Sky? You know, I know so many young people like you, and they are just so in love with Jesus because he has changed their lives. He has delivered them from drugs, addictions. He has a personal relationship. It's not all the garbage about the God said. It's about a personal relationship because there's a Satan, there's an evil force. But you, you know, there's people who have those experiences and they've overcome those things in the name of oh, Allah. I know they have. Oh, I have no, no, I'm just saying in the name so, of other gods, Allah or Krishna. No, no, no. Yeah, no, there's lots of people who will tell you that they've overcome their drug addictions. Yeah, but for, the ones I know. No, it's I know. Jesus. I know that. Because, well, because you live in you Canada. Know, he comes to people and gives them that. visions well, so and dreams. Allah. So does Muhammad. No. Yeah. He's, he's, he's dead. dead. Jesus is alive. Jesus never existed. Jesus is alive. Jesus never existed. You were brought up to believe that Jesus died for your sins. Who else can forgive sins? No one. I don't believe in sins because I'm an atheist. I don't believe in an invisible man in the sky. You yeah. are not. You're too nice a person to believe. Many, many people have turned after they have listened to the truth and, and they just... It's not true. Listen just because you say it is, just because the Christian... Oh. The Christian the yeah, congratulate you guys. Sure. Very good job. Thank you. Hey. It does so much bad that it makes you angry, even when you don't want to be. Like, I don't want to be angry about it, but, you know... Then you should talk to the pastor of his church. I'm not interested in the pastor. I'm interested in science that actually explains how Well, he how was a works. scientist. He was a scientist. He was a scientist before he... Christians on the, on the street uh, preaching their message. Do you want to provide a counter? Maybe you know, I have to say bless you guys. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I, can, I agree with religion. It's a lot of fraud. But Jesus is the thing. Well, so. you disagree there. You know about all the other gods like Horus and Vidra and Dionysus? Well, they share the exact same uh, characteristics that the Jesus figure shared. Uh, born on December 25th of a virgin. They were crucified, descended into heaven, allegedly. And then rose uh, the dead three days later. And many other characteristics are exactly the same. Uh, all of these saviors predated uh, the Jesus character. Yeah, Where did you learn all that? Uh, history books. Uh, oh, yeah. There's lots of evidence to support that. Tons. Well, you would say that because we need to preserve your Christian belief system. And then what right? was the oil need to do well, it's, it's, it's disintegrating all over the world. No, you know what? I believe, I have studied all religions. I'm 63, so I mean, that's what I've done. I, I, and I really respect everyone's religions. But I do know that we are not, every cell in my body, I may not be the most beautiful one, but every cell in my body was created. I'm not from some dust or some, or yeah, some morsel of the sea. Not, well, that's what makes us all. Yes, exactly. Not I can't, I can't. He created, he created those beautiful cells. Do you think you can operate and have that little hair grow, or you can have those eyes and they all work beautifully? By you, and I'm not from a fish. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I am absolutely. I'm made from flesh and blood. That's what I'm made from. You did from. evolve millions of years ago from fish and other animals. Hey, you know what? I can believe all that. It's really little babies. Little babies. I don't know what I was going to do. And the voice came to me. And you know what it said to me? Because I, I thought my husband drank me a little bit too much. Not me die of that. And you know what the voice said? The big, huge voice when I was getting ready for the funeral? It said, I only look at the heart. And it is it's awesome, right? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I love it. So that's awesome. what it is. Religions are homophobic. They are. It's, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anti women. And this is the Bible. Yeah, yeah. 2,000 year old man. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What? What's the. The interest or the motivation, because I mean, this is this is a, a Sunday, so what, why why come out? It's not rainy right now, but why why come out in the cold and? Uh... Because it is Sunday. People are in church. Yeah. So we're hoping to, uh, you know, I mean, it would. Uh, we we also do it on the street. 
you know, on Saturdays and stuff. And what we don't do it in front of churches, we pretty much almost get a unanimous thumbs up, like way to go, and, yeah, right on, guys, I support you and stuff like that. So it's very interesting that we do get very, um, you know, if you go stand on Rob's Street or down the street or something like that, we get a very positive response. Um, in front of the church, we're obviously prepared for a much more negative response from the people who go to the church. Um, but that's the point, is to try to hopefully get them at least, I mean, it's, it's again, it's, it's going with the flow, right? People just wake up, they get ready, they go to church, they leave church, they go for lunch, right. maybe stop at the mall. So we're hoping that maybe at least we jar something, yeah. get people thinking. Maybe that maybe the kids, if the kids are of a certain age and they're going to school and they're starting to think, well, you know, this stuff's not making a whole lot of sense to me. I know my parents have been telling me this, but it's not really making a whole lot of sense to me. And maybe, maybe they'll realize that, you know, there's other people out there as well that have had those same thoughts. You have to believe in the love that you know you were created. You're not just, you're not standing here, oh, I'm so wonderful you think because I, cannot, I just believe in me in this I cannot world. believe in love because I don't believe in God? Is that what you say? No, I didn't say that. What, 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 what are you saying? What are you saying? Okay, you know what? Let me just do this for you. Love? Is what we're made. You know, and you can love without being religious. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's what makes peace in this world. That I can love you, you can love me. If I walked in or out of a church, you can still love me. And I can love you because you don't go to church. That's what we're here on this earth. And that's all there is. It's simple. People just don't get the simplicity of life. Life is simple. Anyways, I love you.